Welcome to the AMG Driving Academy. It's a curriculum imported from Europe where we have one, two, and three-day courses where you'll get to experience virtually the whole line of AMG vehicles provided for you. World-class driving instructors at some of the greatest racetracks in North America. Hi, I'm Tommy Kendall, four-time Trans Am champ and host of Test Drive on Speed Channel. Welcome to the AMG Driving Academy. I hope you enjoy these short films that take you through a little bit of the curriculum that we teach at the Academy. In this episode, we're going to talk about drifting, the ballet of power sliding. To demonstrate this, we've asked one of our instructors, Nick Kunewalder, to show his stuff. What is drifting? It's basically turned into a, an actual sport. It's judged much like figure skating. It's not done on time, but it's done on style and the ability to link a, a power slide from one end to the other all the way around a racetrack. So the goal of drifting, again, is to get the biggest slide that we can get while maintaining control and putting the car on the proper path. It's kind of like a, a wheelie of four wheels. And the idea is you've kind of got to find this balance point. When you find the balance point, there's not a whole lot of sawing on the wheel. The really good drifters can just get the car balanced and the amount of throttle against the speed of the corner and, uh, and the radius, they, they kind of offset each other and the car will just drift. And the hard part is when you transition the weight going the other way. Funny, when, when I first was asked to drift, you're asked, being asked to un do everything you've worked years to learn in road racing because in road racing you're working on not sliding the car because a sliding tire is not an optimal performing tire. Now how do you do drifting? Basically what you need to do is you need to induce a slide some way or another and then carry that slide through the corner. It takes a little practice because if you don't have the speed match right to how much throttle and how much drift angle you won't track through the corner at the right radius. You might spin to the inside, you might go off the outside. So that's where the tough part is, is matching all three of those things to still approximate the radius that you would like as if you were steering through the corner. It's pretty dramatic looking, but undramatic in the car, done by a driver that has a really good feel for where that balance point is. If you didn't know, all the content was filmed on a closed course by professional drivers. Do not try this on public roads. Always wear your seatbelt and drive responsibly.